Noon time hour from Gillette Stadium. Mike Reese of ESPN with us on Zolak and Bertrand, presented by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. Mike, hello. Beetle, Zo, Hardy. Hey. How we doing? Good. Good. Good, right. you? What's your three things, Reese? You ready? You I love it. The box. You got three it. things. Right, let's go. Three thoughts. Let's yeah. go. Three thoughts. It. All right, what do you have for Number us Number one, quarterback implosion. So anything we talk about, I mean, to me, that's the top thing. Uh, Mac just went off the rails, and that totally overshadows everything else. Number two uh, was the worst loss of Belichick's head coaching career, but, but not the worst overall performance that I've seen from the team. To me, the story of this game, the most disappointing part for the team is when the bleep started to hit the fan in the second quarter. When they're in the game, 10-3, and you got fourth and one in the other team's territory, you don't get it on a sneak, and things just absolutely go the other direction, and you didn't have the ability offensively to stem the tide. That's number two. That, that to me, is the most disappointing thing. They didn't come into this game and get rolled from the opening kickoff. They were in the game at that point, and it got away from them with a bad stretch of 15 minutes of football. And then the third thing is the injuries to Judon and Gonzalez. Just take uh, Dietrich Wise's words, devastating. I would say that, yeah, the worst loss, you know, numbers-wise, statistically, in the Belichick era, I don't think of it as the worst qualitative loss either because I didn't think they were going to win that game to begin with. I had that one... You know, looking at it from months ahead of time, like, oh, they're going to lose in Dallas. They did lose in Dallas. Now, the fact that they got blown out and weren't competitive for most of the game makes it worse. But it's not like losing in a spot in a winnable game with real implications, either playoffs or something else on the line. To me, those losses are worse. Games that you should win, but then you somehow screw up this one. I didn't think they were going to win to begin with. So you, so. you use the word performance, right, Mike? Right. What, do you have one in your mind that was worse from from in a loss, a worse performance by this team? He I mean, did use the word performance. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I would have to go back and look at one where they from the opening kickoff. So the first one out of the top of my head was the thirty-one nothing Bills. Was that two thousand three? Oh, like I mean, that's literally yeah. from the opening kickoff. Yeah. That place is lit up in Western New York, and you did not show up. They showed up in the game. You, it was ten three. You had the ball I, in well, Dallas Stars. I, I, I don't I think. Mean, I don't think they did show up. Well, I totally they, I, disagree no, 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 with I, that. I, okay, did. we will disagree on this. Matt, I don't think they showed up for this game. As bad as Mac was, like I think the strip sack got in his head, and that's where he started to downward spiral. Because he was, he was okay prior to that. Made that play with Douglas. Um, it felt like accidentally. Billy had a, Billy had a complaint. Accident. Right. DM Paul Perillo. Paul Accidental Perillo offense. Accidental, Accidental offense. Accidental offense. But they, there were guys making plays. I know it's ridiculous to talk about it, but the Miles Bryant punching the ball loose toward the end of the game, they there were still guys out there making plays at times. And I would have to go back and check the 31 uh <laughs> to nothing performance oh, yeah, against yeah. Buffalo. Oh, but that one was bad. Were there any plays made by any players in that game? I mean, maybe not. But there were some plays yeah. that got made. You know, Douglas's, you know, accidental offense play, I don't know if they want him doing that. I don't know if they want him spinning around and picking up extra yards, but he did because there's a guy who is, if if he's allowed to do what he should be doing here, he's supposed to be making plays like that. So they did ha there were a couple of moments, moments, I didn't like but the man, fact that they didn't attack early. Like, um, the third and one. Goal. Okay. Down there, and you okay. throw that deep drag to Gasecki in the back end line. Yep. Third down. Yep. Third and one mindset right there. We got two backs. Yep. Get them both in. We're, Billy, get two plays. Run yep. it. Both times. No aggressiveness. No Zero. balls. They don't have Go it. Go for the points there. You got what? You got one yard to pick up with two downs to do it. You want to because that should be considered. That's your mentality. Okay. We made fun of those teams. That, that exactly. Yeah. That should be two down territory there. You've got a you've got two chances to pick up one yard and reset at the five yard line. Yep. And they decided to run the play Zoe just referenced and then kick a field goal. To which I look at and say, Well, so you're, you're, you're not here to win, to win today. Yep. You you're you're not looking to actually try and win the game today. What are you doing? Why'd you make the trip? You're not ready to right. do this, not ready to compete? That's what that is. That's, Brock Osweiler, that's giving up Texas early. To do that. That, and that's from the coaching perspective. They were quitting on this one early. So Bill Belichick was asked about that yesterday. I don't know if you heard his response or you talked about it. He said he wanted to come away with something positive. 
um, on the drive. Which, again, speaks to his expectations. I want to come away with something positive. I don't believe in my offense. That means you you don't believe you've got any chance to win the game, and that's how he approached this game. And I look at it. Something positive. How about trying to win the game? And I look at it like he was, and I think this is where they miscalculated from my view, was I think he thought it was going to be easier defensively against Dak Prescott. And the fact that they turned it into a passing game, um, to me, I thought that was and, – and made it look easy, Beetle. Yeah. Like at time, it was too easy for Dak Prescott at times. To me, when I watch it over in the game, um, to me, I, I don't think he wasn't trying to win the game by kicking there. I think he just miscalculated how he thought they could win the game. Well, I, I think he miscalculated not only in-game. He miscalculated – in not taking into account what his offense is. How many more times did he reasonably be- reasonably believe he could get Mac Jones and his offense into the red zone in that game? Going into the day. That's why I look at this and say it is one of their worst performances because you've got to add the context of where they are in this season. Where they are in their in their growth, where they are this year, where everybody stands. And that to me is is a big part of this story from this game. Like, come on. Your offense is not good. You should have had no expectation that kicking field goals and trying to match them at 3-3 was going to keep you in this game. It's just not realistic. And his defense didn't have any answers for Dak, Dak Prescott. In fact, as, as we've praised the defense, I think what we've lost in this is many times this defense has not had all the answers to stop an opponent. Like Miami took what that defense gave them and used it to their advantage. And everyone wants to talk about how Miami scored 70 against Denver. And, oh, if you look at what the Patriots did, yeah. they held them in check. They did, but Miami was smart enough to say, we're going to take what this defense gives us. Right. And we're going to just find a way to win the game. And the, the, the thing about that Miami game is they were in control. They were out in front early. They never really got threatened. And maybe if they did, that does look like a different game, and Miami is scoring more in that game. I don't think that people factor that in with the Miami game that was played here. So I thought defensively it was obviously not their best game, but I actually thought they did enough, Beatle, to be in the game if the quarterback didn't have the worst game we've seen him play. And I'll give you an example. So they give up they, that fourth-and-one sneak, which I thought to me was when it started to go downhill for the Patriots they and they couldn't extend the tide. But if you remember... The drive push, after that, push, the defense push. stopped them. Three, you know, they they, yeah, stopped, they got, they got the ball back. Yep, but right. it was a punt and a, then a freaking uh, Vigarian low hold, right? Or, yeah. um, or was that Wenu? They punted it, and then it was uh, on Wenu, Probably who, by the way, was a false start, makes it first and 15. Yep. Wenu had three penalties, multiple missed blocks. I mean, that was the worst game from one of your best offensive linemen. But... You know, and defensively, they got some help from the Cowboys. They ran into each other on the first drive. Uh, Dak Prescott and you know Typical Tony Cowboy. Pollard. Like, so they got a little help. But I thought in the red zone, they held them to one touchdown and four trips. Um, so defensively, to me, it was bend but don't break. They ultimately broke in the end because I felt like they didn't get support. I thought this was about the quarterback letting them down. And I want to be honest with you, I think Mac is a good quarterback, and I know that's probably going to be people going to jump all over me i think good quarterback who had a bad day and now we're going to learn a lot about him how he responds to that why do you think he's a good quarterback so i think he processes and makes good decisions um and i think he can i think you you disagree well i just know it's just the wrong week it's face. just the wrong week for her right <laughs> it's, no, it's but just, I think, you know mike said a woo, terrible day for the most part woo, he makes, he makes, i got, I got one the for right you, decision people. He might not be gifted, but from a physical standpoint, listen to the, the mental. Mental is his. So Sunday doesn't shake your faith. In, oh, it shakes in, my faith in, in, in those it. things. It shakes my confidence. Okay, it in is it. shaking not, mine greatly. Of course it would. How yes. could it not, Beetle? But I'll give you. I mean, Beetle, we both. You, we're, we're sort of um, like we went to UMass, right? Like we. We passed. did. Yeah, we that has been got our degrees. Yes, we did. Did you ever get in a class? You get an <laughs> exam, and you're like, oh, and it just went off the rails for you? That happened to me. That happened to me. What class? Yeah, which one was it? Oh, my goodness. A couple I had to withdraw from. Communications. Where you think in you're... calm? In was that your major? I initially had to switch right out of it. You there. couldn't hack it in so, calm, Mike. My point. I'm going to wow. take this back to Mac. Wow. You can be a, a good quarterback or a good student and have just a train wreck of a day, a train wreck of a test. To me, that's what I look at this on. And I'm with you, Beetle. Like it does. It shakes my confidence. Such jolly in. course at UMass. No. Oh. No. no. But that, that, that's how I see it. I know, it's, I know it's a tough day to do it, but I have to be honest with you. I'm not going to go along with the, the crowd that, where it's convenient to do that based on the performance. 
Um, I'll give you the Jets as an example. We were killing Zach Wilson last week. For good reason. It was a terrible performance. How did he look Sunday night? Not bad. He had a couple of good quarters. He had a couple of good quarters. So I think we get caught up in the moment sometimes. I get it. That's what we do. And it's part of the fun. I just, I don't live in that world. Which world is that? You got a name for that world? No, you just get caught up in the moment. So you had to with draw from that course and, <laughs> and Belichick had to pull Mac out of that game. That game was just one class in particular. He doesn't get any credit for that game. No credits. You like you credits. but like oh, you no, pulling I'm... yourself out of that uh, out of that yeah. course that semester. Yeah. Mac got pulled out of that game. Yeah. He should and I think you called it. You were calling for him to get pulled earlier. earlier. I just think that Mac Jones is a quarterback that does not have the great physical ability. He cannot afford to have games where he looks mentally that checked out and that bad from he, a mental standpoint. I, I, he can't I, have those games. I think he got a little, I mean, I don't know if spooked is the word. I mean, oh, he gets like the Dallas defensive line is very good, and I think the way they were playing, they were showing him different things that maybe were, I don't know if he wasn't expecting it, but... I think it just fell off the rails for him. I was just thinking about Daniel Jones getting sacked eight times last night. It's like, you want spooked? I'll show you spooked. Yeah. Now, I yeah. had a bad game, too, but I had reason to get spooked. Just, Mike, I've reached, just, I, I've reached yeah. a point on Mac Jones. Yeah. No more excuses for Mac no, Jones. No, I'm not he gets making no excuses more. for he him. He gets no more excuses about his coaching, about his receivers, about his offensive line. That's it. He gets no benefit of the doubt anymore. And, I'm, and I'm, I think that's fair, Bill. Yeah. I, that's fair. It, it, it is what it is. And I don't think and he's I, the guy. I don't, because I think mentally, to have a lapse like he had in that game in this spot and to continue it, I think, on the bench with the passing off to Bailey Zappi with whatever was happening there and whatever was being said to post game to all of it, I think mentally he's not the guy. He can't make up for the lack of physical tools with his mental makeup. He's, he doesn't okay. have it. You might be right. For me, I'm not willing to go there yet uh, because I think we've all had, like, literally trained deck train wreck days in our lives and to me that's what this was for him and ultimately beetle if you're right in the end i'll tell you you're right um and i'll admit to it, i just don't think this is the day or the time to to make that declaration